So I came across this slogan on this building, daily at your door. So what is it? Amazon Prime, FedEx? Well, those of us of a certain age in Southern California, it means this sound. And the Helms Bakery man and truck was pulling down our street. Time for jelly donuts and some bread for mom. So let's check out the story of the Helms Bakery here in Culver City. The Helms Bakery story starts with New York baker Paul Helms, who moved to Southern California for health reasons and started construction of the iconic Helms building between Washington and Venice Boulevard in Culver City in 1930. He opened the business in 1931 with 32 employees and 11 delivery trucks. The very next year, he was lucky enough to become the official bread of the 1932 Los Angeles Olympics and the business took off as drivers, trucks, and home delivery routes were added that eventually stretched from as far away as Fresno to San Bernardino and south to Orange County. Never sold in retail stores, the sound of the Helms truck whistle still conjures up memories of donuts, sugary treats, and other delights for a generation of Southern Californians, much as the good humor truck did for ice cream. The dozens of loaves of bread in the center drawer were still hot from the bakery ovens. But donuts, cookies, and bread aren't the only legacy Paul Helms left us. So the trucks are a whole story unto themselves. This is a fountain by Andrew Cohen Gehring down here at the Helms building. But we'll show you the history of what some of the various trucks look like and how many generations had their own favorite version of the Helms coach or truck coming down their street with fresh baked goods every day. Those trucks and coaches have also become desirable collector's items. In 1937, a very modern snub-nosed coach based on the Chrysler Airflow design was introduced and manufactured by Divco in Detroit. And it became synonymous with the Helms branding. So much so that when the coach was discontinued by the manufacturer, Helms bought the chassis and had the coach bodies made by local California craftsmen. But for many of us, it was the later Helms truck, the Chevy panel truck that we're familiar with. David Shelby, Critical Car Care out in Lancaster. And David, tell me about this truck. How did you find it? I just found it uh, on the side and I seen it and uh, I just had to buy it. You had to have a donut. Yeah. <laughs> so I bought it and restored it, and here's this is where I'm at today. These trucks and coaches conjure up simpler times, supermarket competition, and the high cost of truck delivery door to door took its toll, and the bakery closed in 1969. So the bread, the donuts, the truck, and even the whistles aren't here anymore. But one of the biggest legacies of Paul Helms still is. Thanks to the far-sighted vision of the Marx family, the building was purchased in the early 1970s and was transformed into what we see today. The Helms Art Deco brilliant building in all of its glory, full of innovative design, retail, and media companies. A great success story of adaptive reuse of a historic structure that we hope we see more and more. And that's this episode. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tell us why you're the best of California, and we'll come cover you. See you next time. No matter where you live in America, you can check out the best of California. Go to funroads.tv and check out where we air in your market. We're in Detroit, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, Philadelphia, everywhere here in California, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Luis Obispo, Fresno, Bakersfield. Check out funroads.tv and wherever you live, I hope you think it's the best as well. Here's to California. I'm Pat Patterson. Talk to you soon.